this story, um, like I, I used to get a lot of flack for my erotica because some of y'all don't know this that um, I actually write them about people. <laughs> so like all the names are real, <laughs> and usually they know, <laughs> and usually sometimes they're sitting in the audience. <laughs> so you know. But this is a self-portrait. <laughs> this is called Hard Andes. <clears throat> and it's got some really hard, difficult sentences in it, so I welcome your applause. <laughs> Hard Andes. <clears throat> Agoraphobia keeps me from going to large concerts, but of Montreal, I was playing at the big new venue in my hometown, and while at my favorite band show, a gleeful guy caught my eye, but he wouldn't stay in one spot. And whilst following him through the crowd, I bumped into another of me following him as well. It was me. We were me. We were looking at me, but we knew no one must know there were two of me. We ducked and hit our faces as we found the exit as one. I didn't want to use the same exits, but we both took the same alternative exit. <laughs> How'd this happen? I said to myself, looking myself in the eyes and knowing I heard me or that he had heard himself. I looked good confused, like most of my good looking audiences. <laughs> the other Andy, thank you. The other Andy rubbed his smoldering red-brown eyes viciously like I do and said, I know I need new contacts, but this is ridiculous. He looked again and still saw himself when he looked at me. That was him standing in front of him. I had a booger and I picked it for me as I did the same to the other me. Come on! We simultaneously said and hit hands trying to corral the other around the other's slim 34-inch waist while covertly wiping off our or my snotty finger, I mean fingers. We went into a darkened corner behind the building like escaped lab experiments. Knowing no one but me, us, me and the other me, would be the only two or the only one that need know. It was dark, it had been raining, the top of a vent of some kind was wet, but I pushed me against it and kissed myself. My hands knew my spots and I wasn't moving from them. I was getting two erections. <laughs> We needed to have brushed our teeth, but we knew to tilt our heads so, and force our tongues ever so, and rub our necks, and press our lips, and keep our eyes sealed, feeling the wonder and safety of two of me. Of course, the one not against the ventilation system was the first to suck the other me. I leaned against it, even though it was soaking wet, knowing I would give me the shot off my back if to anyone at all. I knew what my dick was like, and wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I knew my shorts were soaked like my fucking back on the fucking outside, but yes, we were outside and being wildly spontaneous as only I can do with someone exactly like me. Me. <laughs> I helped me pull my or his or our pants down, but he or I kept our pants on for the moment. I bent down, making sure not to soak my butt on the ground or tear a seam as I took my pair of pants and my face and my dick out. I wanted to see my balls, too, and I wanted my balls out of my pants. We hit hands, guiding our big balls out of our drawers. Seeing them from this angle was something new. It was, not, it was hot that I, didn't, that I don't shave them. I licked my long ball hairs, tingling for air like grooming my children wearing identical cowlicks. I jerked. I jerked as I licked my balls for me. I leaned my cock head down, and I knew to swallow my shaft, and I fucking did it instead of just thinking about doing it, because I know me. It was a self-suck, but with two people. Probably a first. My curly brown pubic hairs warmed my face as my chin felt bristly on my gooch. The vent kicked on and I could become louder. I couldn't hold in my elation and said, yes, yes, me? I want to swallow it. I know I do. Well, I know when you're coming. Well, I know when I'm coming. I slurped my cock as I held onto the ventilation system. It was slippery in his mouth, my mouth, and under his hands, my hands. I wanted to hold my head traveling up and down my consumed girth 
and fucking did. <laughs> I played with my nipples as I gave myself head. I know exactly where they are. Man, I held on to that Roarus air system knowing I would erupt in my mouth at any second. The crowd cheered inside and I knew our favorite band was coming on stage. I jerked as I toyed with my nipples and said, swallow yourself. I imagined coming on stage plus being the audience. I swooped in as I stood still. I caught my cock head on my lips as my fast spastic shot careened the whole left side of my face. I thought I was super attractive with cum on my face and swallowing my cock as I came in my mouth. I knew I tasted good, but I also looked good tasting good. I didn't mean to get my hair wet, but my tongue tickled my sensitive cock head and my hand was wet from the vent when I pulled myself off my cock. We heard of Montreal's music inside as I got inside of my pants and pulled out my other awaiting erection. I was in a hurry, both of me, because I, him and me, us, oh you know, we wanted to see the show. I knew I wouldn't need long and said, I'll be quick. This is hot, isn't it? Why can't more guys know how hot this is with me? Right? Just shut up and suck your dick. I almost choked as I choked down my cock and made myself feel shockingly good. I thought I had forgotten how to suck a dick, but sucking myself twice let me see otherwise, but I could be biased. My balls weren't even out of my pants before I was ready to shower myself with more cum. My vigilant mouth was there when an identical amount of semen poured from my other cock again. I felt my urethra stretch wide as my petals fought to fit through it again. I swallowed some, but the rest I whisked around in my mouth as more rapidly gathered from my cock again. I come six or seven times a day, but together, I plan to come 12 or 14 times a day. <laughs> when I finished shooting my load down my throat again, I got up and I looked at myself. I put my clothes on me as I put my clothes on myself. I kept catching my eyes and smiling at myself. We laughed and blushed as we fastened our belts as one. Listen, we spoke in unison, but we knew what the other was going to say and didn't know how we could live in different places and still be the same exact person. We wanted to go fuck ourselves, but we didn't want to topple reality with asking where each other lived. We wanted to listen to Of Montreal, but both of me listened to the voices inside my heads. And I decided on calling a cab because somehow we both rode with Cole in his big blue van. <laughs> Wait here, shh. I was tired of saying the same thing at the same time as myself and used sign language instead. I patted myself and walked away from myself, letting me know to stay there as I went inside to find Cole and retrieve his keys. But I knew outside that I would be tempted to stay inside, and I also went inside. I should both get to hear some of Montreal. I shouldn't find Cole. Oh, I couldn't find Cole, but I found me looking for Cole and me finding Cole. But I hid behind a merchandise booth because I knew Cole shouldn't see two of me, but what if there were two of him? I'm more interested in me. I walked back to the exit and I left the pillar and walked back too. I walked behind me as I walked to Cole's big blue van. I wondered what I had said to Cole, but I knew I was behind me and threw me into the van before I could say anything. I pulled both pairs of pants off I was wearing with underwear, but I kept on two pairs of socks because I couldn't trust Cole's floorboard. <laughs> I kissed myself as I got on top of myself and caressed myself. I was quite heavy, but I was strong enough to hold myself. My neck was as soft as my lips against it. I smelled like hair glue, but it was a smell I knew. I moaned and I groaned as my erections warped each other and spread my moisture around my stomachs. I'm on top, I'm on bottom. I moved my legs apart as I readied my cock head. My left leg rested on the front passenger seat as I pressed the wet finger inside my asshole. I knew I didn't have to say to go slow, but someone could have told me to close the van door. <laughs> I pulled my finger out and under the street light I saw it wasn't brown. I knew I should wet my asshole before sticking my fat cock inside me. I couldn't believe I was going to eat my ass and I gasped as I felt my tongue round my thirsty asshole. I cringed and said, oh! Andy, that feels good. I pulled two fingers inside and said, isn't it funny saying your own name to yourself? I think you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Was the van ready? I put, my, I put my leg up as I put my cock inside my wet hole I just moistened. I spread and jerked my cock as my other cock, the top in me's cock, was literally in me. My four eyes rolled back. Yes, it was kind of clumsy when my left foot caught on my other left foot. I haven't fucked in forever. You're telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling me. Oh, right. Sames. I lost my erection. Yeah, I did. 
I said I lost my erection because I, you, the other me, talked too fucking much and made us lose our erections. I both talked. Let's go here in Montreal. Tickets were 30 bucks. Does this mean I got charged twice? That explains the duplication. They charged me twice. And simultaneously, I wondered, do you think it's too late to get charged again? <laughs> I filled Cole's big blue van up! <laughs>